Drawing attention to the historical context, Gao Sub highlighted the long-standing issues of exclusion and marginalization faced by Africans. African populations over many centuries suffered exclusion and marginalization in their own land and continent. Acutely, we have been dispossessed of our identity as a people. We even became the mouthpiece of the global north because of the violence of disposition, which was characterized in many ways during the pre-colonial period. In the post-modern and post-colonial times, some would argue the violence has become self-inflicted. There isn't enough time during this short speech to deal adequately with this, but we should think about these issues. She called for a paradigm shift to foster a supportive relationship between governments and civil society. It is one's hope that platforms such as the one created by this forum and recognition after many years of dialogue will provide scope for a paradigm shift because the constituency that we serve and fight for are the same. Because of our difficult colonial past as a continent, that this relationship will become mutually supportive rather than, than one of them against us. Dausab, while urging African leaders to find solutions for the continent problems, emphasized the importance of asking uncomfortable questions to address challenges such as unconstitutional means of gaining power, youth unemployment, exclusion, tribalism, discrimination, and marginalization. The hopes of pan-African dreams of a united Africa are eroded because we sometimes lack historical poise. What we don't want is a hopeless people, as some may argue is already the case. A people confused about what their historical and cultural identity meant for our liberation. A people unsure whether their identity as Africans is truly inclusive. And if it is not, what can we do differently? Because the Africa we want under Agenda 263 and the Africa we liberated make the promises of freedom, justice, liberty, equality, dignity, and shared prosperity for all. The finance minister expressed hope for meaningful engagement between the Pan-African Parliament and civil society, emphasizing the agency of implementing Agenda 2063. Serafia Nadunya, NBC News, Ventuk.